Hello and welcome to Stonecrow Financial Coordinator Foundations Video Training SFC 201 Role and Responsibilities. I'm Dale Shelton, the Ministry Support Manager at Stonecroft, and I'm pleased to present this video training prepared especially for you. Stonecroft Financial Coordinator Foundations, SFC 201. We'll cover today role and responsibilities. These are outlined in the Women's Connection Handbook. Our scripture, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. This is found in 1 Peter 4.10 in the NIV. Stonecroft exists so that women are reconciled to God through Jesus Christ. This is our vision. Role and responsibility highlights. First, thank you so much for serving. As financial coordinator or financial co-coordinator, you desire to handle all finances in a responsible way that honors and glorifies our Lord Jesus Christ. This involves coordinating your local finances, as well as contributions that enable Stonecroft, through the Friends of Stonecroft offerings and fall fundraisers, to impact the world for him. By accepting this responsibility, you affirm that you have read and agree with the Stonecroft Statement of Faith. The Statement of Faith can be found on the stonecroft.org website and in the Women's Connection Handbook. In 2 Corinthians 9.12 NIV, it states, This service that you perform is not only supplying the needs of the Lord's people, but is also overflowing in many expressions of thanks to God. So let's talk a little bit about before the event. Number one, make an attractive welcome sign for the ticket table that includes instructions on whom to make checks payable to the local group and the cost. Two, Individual guest checks must be made payable to the local group's name. One check from the local group's bank account should be written to pay for the meals and other meeting facility expenses. Three, check with the reservations coordinator regarding account and guaranteed number of reservations for the outreach meeting. Four, Number the welcome cards. It may be helpful to include the date for record keeping. Five, obtain a bank account endorsement stamp for faster processing of checks. Six, prepare a cash box with enough starting change to support your meeting needs. Seven, Change should be provided by writing a check from the local group bank account, which then must be redeposited after each meeting. Eight, obtain two blank copies of the financial summary form and be prepared to complete them. If using the online form, you will only need one copy. Nine, take the group checkbook and a secure bag to carry the money. 10. If utilizing prepaid reservations, receive prepaid reservations and checks for the outreach meeting, endorse all checks made payable to your local group and deposit in the group's checking account, keeping accurate records on all transactions. And keep a list of prepaid reservations. When reservations are due prior to the meeting, submit these names to the reservations coordinator and update as needed. At the event, set up. Arrive early to properly set up and welcome guests. Reserve a seat for yourself and your assistant near the entrance to assist late arrivals. 
give this speaker's check to the vice chair. If utilizing prepaid reservations, place the welcome cards for those with prepaid reservations with their name tags. Receive guests payments for meals. Checks should be made payable to the local group. Even if utilizing prepaid reservations, receive payment from guests with unpaid reservations or walk-ins and give them a welcome card. Count the guests with another planning team member or assistant and confirm with the head of the wait staff immediately after all of the guests are seated. After the event, number one, process ticket money, contributions, and complete the financial summary report. Count the ticket money and the location out of the flow of traffic. Complete the ticket section of the financial summary in duplicate. It's best to complete it in pencil until you know it balances. Ensure that Ministry Effectiveness Group Ministry Information, which is the total attendance, number of decisions for Christ, number of first-time guests, gospel shared, and number of SBS or small groups offered, is included on the financial summary. Obtain the appropriate information from the chair. Confirm the number of attendees and final charges with the facility. Pay the invoice and obtain a copy for your records. For accountability purposes, two people must be involved in counting funds and preparing the financial summary. Both parties verify the information by signing and dating the financial summary form. It's important to have all money secure and delivered to you and not visible to guests. Processing checks. Be sure the date is accurate. Verify consistency with the check amount, both numerical and written amounts, and confirm that each check is signed. Watch for specific designations on the memo line of checks to ensure they are properly designated on pages two and three. Processing envelopes with credit card information. Verify all credit card information on the envelope is completely filled out and contains a signature. You will send the envelope flap to Stonecroft for processing. If a speaker or musician is permitted to sell their products, approved books, CDs, DVDs, etc., they are asked to give a minimum of a 10% donation from their sales to Stonecroft. This money should be given to the financial coordinator at the end of the event or circuit. This donation is receivable and should be included on pages two and three of the financial summary form which will become part of the calculation on page one, line 19. After the event, number two, record all local income, including the following. Printing sponsor. The person contacting each sponsor should inform the financial coordinator whether the sponsor considers it as advertising, which would be non receivable or as a donation, which is receivable. For advertisement with acknowledgement on the invitation, a business pays printing cost and no tax deductible receipt is given. List this on line four of the financial summary. As a charitable donation, an individual or business pays printing cost and a receipt is given. List this in column C on pages two and three of the financial summary. If it is a charitable donation, the donor's name or business is not included on the invitation.
after the event number three. Record all local expenses, including the following. Printing of invitations paid by financial coordinator or directly from sponsor to printer. Speaker expense, decorating supplies, child care expense, printing invitations, postage, and other miscellaneous. For accurate record keeping, pay by check and always keep receipts. Please note, tax deductible receipts may be requested by an individual paying for a specific local expense, such as decorating supplies, postage, etc. If a paid receipt for the item's purchase is submitted to the financial coordinator, this amount also must be listed as a local expense on the report. Keep the receipt with the group copy of the financial summary. After the event, number four, complete the remaining portions of the financial summary. The reserve limit. Based on your bank's fee schedule, up to $300 may be kept in this account after monthly expenses are paid. A higher reserve limit must be approved by Stonecroft. When your reserve limit is reached, include extra funds on line 26 with the contribution sent to the home office to be used for expanding the ministry's outreach. If a sizable gift designated to offset expenses causes the local reserve to exceed the approved limit, contact group finances at stonecrop.org for further instructions. After the event, number five, prepare the deposit and record the deposits on page one of the financial summary. Separate deposits are recommended for meal money, checks and cash contributions received from Friends of Stonecroft offerings, child care and decorations. For your protection, it is necessary that group funds not be held in cash for any longer than required all cash and meal checks should be deposited with, into the local account within 24 hours. Also note, it's imperative to balance the checkbook with the bank statement every month. The administrative assistant or some other member of the leadership team with experience in bookkeeping should verify the bank reconciliation with the financial summary every month. Thank you so much for, for taking time today to view um, SFC 201. And if you have any questions or need assistance with completing your financial summary forms, please reach out to groupfinances at stonecrop.org um, or contact Ministry Support Group Finances at 800-525-8627 and we'll be happy to help you. I close with the scripture, work willingly at whatever you do as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. Remember that the Lord will give you an inheritance as your reward and that the master you are serving is Christ. Colossians 3, 23 and 24, NLT. Thank you again for watching. Please join us for additional Stonecroft Financial Coordinator video trainings posted on the stonecroft.org website.